recently asked me go to say he has plans to do a stream with somebody who's going to be pretty much allegedly exposing twitch from the inside out apparently this particular person who he's going to be doing a stream with has been banned like one person can do something and nothing happens somebody else does something and they're permanently banned i think also the moderation is extremely biased it's obvious that it's biased and i think that uh you know again this will become more evident over time and so what would you do if they auto ban you the moment you bring them on well, if I'm trying to hold the platform accountable for allowing people on the platform that openly commit felonies and use the platform as a vehicle to commit felonies, and I get banned for that, um, honestly, rip bozo, right? I mean, let's be real. Rip fucking bozo. Like, that's, I, I mean, I can just go somewhere else and stream over there. Uh, move to YouTube Live. I'll probably go to Kick and Rumble if I get banned on Twitch. Realistically, that's what I'm going to do. These people are making Twitch worse. They've already created a lot of negative publicity for Twitch, and I think it's just going to continue to get worse. So, uh, is the stream with Dan Saltman on? Well, I'll tell you this. I said that if he got banned for less than two weeks, that I would do it. He got banned for three days. Last time I checked, three days is less than two weeks so it sure sounds like it's fucking on probably be doing it later on this week that's the plan i want to make sure i get everything together and then we're going to do it and we're going to put it on youtube too now granted i'll be the first to admit that twitch is not perfect by any means necessary they do have their own problems and i think that in in hindsight i don't think twitch would just automatically ban somebody for you just simply critiquing the platform live like ain't nothing wrong with that um because they do pick and choose on who to ban like frogan for example it took an act of congress and a bunch of people on twitter holding that woman accountable just to get her banned she got canceled and she got banned for it now granted it wasn't a perma ban but it shouldn't even have to take that long just to get somebody banned for stuff that she said against u.s soldiers but anytime somebody would say something else about a particular other group then they would end up you know getting the 10th degree and getting banned almost expeditiously now if twitch was to ban him i think that if anything they would ban him depending on what the content is being said on twitch uh and on top of everything else if you're platforming a guy who's been banned now granted i don't know that much about dan saltman other than he's a friend of destiny which huh, take what you will with that information that's either a good thing or a bad thing but the only other time i've ever used any clip featuring him in a video was when him and destiny both tag team the locale himself biggie 2998 but all this is going to boil down to is what will be said if it just is just surface level or oh, we're going to criticize twitch for how they pick and choose with certain people then fine but if they start talking about, oh, the Zionists are at it again, or if they start talking about some other off the wall shit, then yeah, you got to take what comes with that. I think him going to kick a rumble would be the sign of the times. Like, why would you go to either one of them platforms when you could easily just stream on YouTube? He already has a substantially huge base over there. So I don't understand why you would just, instead of streaming on YouTube, you would rather stream on kick and rumble making pennies by the dollar like granted sure his audience will be there they'll follow him no matter what at least his hardcore fans will but there are people who are twitch loyalists and youtube loyalists that will stay 10 toes down with their ad and not going nowhere until they may see a twitch stream or a youtube video or a whole twitch vod uploaded to youtube and i would look at him as honestly one of the biggest back bumpers of all time you get banned off of twitch for good let's say then that's a lot of money you just left on the table just to go make pennies on kick or rumble unless kick signs them to a multi-million dollar deal and let's hope you don't have any you know view bots in this chat because kick has a huge problem with that and besides if he had said he would go to youtube live I wouldn't have an issue with that, but 
rumble or kick it's not like i keep preaching to the choir once you get the bag you have to secure it by any means necessary even if some people may not agree with that decision but with that being said let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below till next time i'll see y'all in the next video peace